I mean, this is a project that was a long time in the coming. Uh, um, tell me about, did you ever sort of wonder if it would actually happen, or did you, you know, stay calm? Um, you know, I always doubt everything, but uh, I, I, I'm, I'm very uh, tenacious and stick with projects and work them and work them and work them, and when you get talented people like the people on my left, it makes it a lot easier. You know, once made a decision to tell the story from Tonto's perspective, all kinds of new doors opened up and um you know it was always going to be about that relationship and uh suddenly with with you know you're telling the story of tonto telling a story things like the landscape become a character in the movie and um trains become a, like a violation of that landscape and so you have a sort of native american perspective even in the scenes that he's not in but when gork called and said this is the movie and johnny's going to play tonto you sort of knew that all bets were off and it you were going to reference westerns, but you were going to have to do something new. And then we talked a lot about um, what would be the best ingredient to rub up against Johnny's Tonto. And we started riffing on, you know, Jimmy Stewart. Liber it, Liberty Valance. Liberty Valance. And I remember saying to, to Gore, what about Jimmy Stewart? He said, yeah, Jimmy Stewart on acid. You know, would be. <laughs> we were writing Johnny and a young Jimmy Stewart, basically. You know, and then Army came in and read, and he was so kind of out of time and, 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 and sort of buoyantly optimistic and he has this kind of um, so he was great he was a great energy on set too on day 120 when nothing's working and everybody's just dirt in your sandwich and you just you're a mess and he's like look what we get to do you know he has such a kind of you know there's trains and there's horses and he was so like energetic it was you know, it kind of you, it reminds you of well, you know what a privilege it is to, to do this for a living. I think Johnny is such an original artist. He's not going to want to come out of the same box twice, and it could never be Jack in the Wild West. He's one of the best physical mimics I've ever encountered. Uh, he can see something once and just capture it perfectly. His coordination is just amazing. Uh, this character is constructed in some ways that, that, that to his you know natural gifts as a silent actor. I mean, it's amazing to be on the set and watch him because he's such a relaxed, lovely man, and you realize how incredibly in control of his instrument he is when you watch the movie. And the collaboration between he and Gore, it, you know, it's a, there's a familiar box, but it's also, um, you, you, I think if you end up writing, thinking too much about his previous incarnations, you're hamstrung, you have to write about the character, and I think this is a departure from some of his other inventions in the sense that there's a very dark backstory that informs him and informs some of the madness and absurdity. And the first thing Gore showed me was, gave me this picture that Johnny had constructed of the bird and the makeup. And it was, you know, what does the bird mean and what does the makeup mean? And, and that was part of the, the journey because it, you know, it didn't, it couldn't be flip in this context, the historical context of this story. Not just coming at it from Tonto's perspective, but even the Lone Ranger, I think, in, from what I know of the, of the, um, of the original series, he, he lives by his code, and his code is well established, and we wanted something more dimensional. I mean, somebody who's struggling with that code, I mean, he has these noble ideas, he arrives in the West with these concepts of justice, and, and, and how do you reconcile that when it can be purchased, you know, when justice can be bought and sold? So I think, you know, at least we tried to to see him struggle with the, those ideas. I think his role is the most difficult in the film because he's the straight man on some level. And um, we were talking about it the other night, and it, it, he's such a lovely presence on the set. I mean, really is. It's fearless. And, and, um, but the quality I didn't really articulate to myself until this the other night when I was watching the movie again is that he's without vanity. He never tries to wink at the, at the camera to say, I'm, I'm cooler than this. I mean, he, he, he completely inhabits that guy. And I think the turn he makes from, from the kind of guy, you know, sniffing the wind behind Tonto saying, are you getting anything from that horse to the guy who beats Butch is a seamless transition. I think something very difficult. Um, and, and, and again, so, I mean, I think, he, I think he had the most difficult role and I think he kind of pulled it off brilliantly. I never thought that it would be anything more difficult than photographing on boats, but... Trains are an absolute nightmare. Um, they, at least the boat, you can turn it. You know, when the sun is changing, you just grab some anchors and you just keep rotating the boat. And the, you can, you know, the train is stuck there. And it was kind of, um, 
Yeah, it was our shark and jaws, I guess. A generation has lost the, the fun of the Western because it just hasn't been around uh, for popular culture. And I grew up with them. I grew up with them on television. I grew up with them in the movies. Um, you know, Sergio Leone and, and uh, early uh, Clint Eastwood, more of his later work, and, and John Ford and Howard Hawks and some of the great directors did fantastic Westerns. And we had Bonanza and, you know... Uh, have Gun Will Travel. We had all these great shows on television, and kids just aren't there. They, we just didn't have it around. So I was desperate to, to bring it back. And the first picture I ever produced in the early 70s was a picture called the Culpepper Cattle Company. I think I'm the only person who saw it. But uh, it, it was, uh, it was a kind of a wagon train with a young kid on it uh, movie, and it was a lot of fun. But but uh, anyway, I, I hope that this picture does what Westerns need and get a, a large audience, a lot of kids to appreciate this genre and, and uh, attract more filmmakers to making them.